Section 78 of Five Minute Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Katherine Russell, Ohio, USA. Five Minute Stories by Laura E. Richards. The Little Dog with the Green Tail. An Untrue Story. Once upon a time there came to the town where all the little dogs live a strange little dog whose tail was of a most beautiful bright green color, so bright that it shone like an emerald. Now when all the other little dogs saw this, they were filled with admiration and envy, and they ran to the strange little dog and said, Oh, little dog, what makes your tail so beautifully green? Pray tell us that we may make ours green, too, for we never saw anything so lovely in all our lives. But the strange little dog laughed and said, There are many things greener than my tail. There is the grass down in the meadow. Go and ask that what makes it green, and perhaps it will tell you. So all the little dogs ran down into the meadow where the grass was growing, and they said, Oh, grass, grass, what makes you so green? Pray tell us, that we may all get green tails, like the tail of the strange little dog. But all the little blades of grass shook their heads and said, We can tell you nothing about that. All we know is that we were down under the ground last winter, and that when we came up this spring we were all green. You might try that, and perhaps it would make you green too. So all the little dogs went to work as fast as they could, and dug holes in the ground, and then they got into them and covered themselves up with earth. But they very soon found they could not breathe. So they were all obliged to come up again. And when they looked at each other, they saw to their sorrow that they were not green at all, but just the same colors that they were before, some black, some brown, and some spotted. Then they all went again to the little dog and said, Oh, little dog, little dog! We have been to the grass, and it has not helped us at all. Now, do please tell us, what makes your tail so beautifully green? For we never can be happy till ours are like it. But the strange little dog only laughed again and answered, My tail is not the only green thing in the world. There are the leaves on the great oak tree. They are very green indeed. Go ask them what makes them so, and perhaps they will tell you. So all the little dogs ran as fast as they could to the great oak tree and called out to the little leaves, Oh, little leaves, what makes you so beautifully green? Do tell us that we may all get green tails like the tail of the strange little dog. But the leaves all shook their heads and said, We know nothing about that. We came out of our buds last spring, and then we were very pale. But we danced about, and the more we danced, the greener we grew. Perhaps if you come up here and dance, you will grow green too. So all the little dogs climbed up the tree as fast as they could and tried to dance about on the branches. But they were not fastened on like the little leaves, so they fell down and hurt themselves very much. And when they got up and looked at each other, they were not any greener than before. So then they all cried bitterly. And they ran once more to the strange little dog and said, Oh, little dog, little dog, we have tried the way that the leaves told us, and we have only hurt ourselves dreadfully, and have not got green at all. And now, if you do not tell us, we shall die of grief, for we never can rest again till our tails are green. But the strange little dog only laughed more than ever, and said, What stupid creatures you are, to think that there is nothing green in the world except my tail. There is the sea. He is twenty times as green as my tail. Go and ask him, and he will surely tell you all about it, for he is very wise and knows everything. So all the little dogs ran as fast as they could down to the shore, and there was the great hungry sea, prowling up and down, twirling his white mustaches and tossing his white hair and looking very green and very fierce. The little dogs were very much frightened, but they took courage when they thought of the beautiful green tail, and they said, trembling, Oh, great sea, the strange little dog told us that you were wise and knew everything, and that you would tell us how to make our tails green like his. The great sea smiled 
wickedly and answered, Oh, yes, my children, I can tell you. I am green myself, and I make everything green that touches me. So let me take you in my arms a moment, and you will become beautifully green just like me. So the great hungry sea held out his long green arms and beckoned to them with his white hands. And the poor little dogs all shut their eyes and jumped in. And in less than a minute the sea gobbled them all up so that not one was left. And there was an end of all the little dogs. And the strange little dog went back to the place he came from with his green tail curled up behind him, and he was never seen or heard of again. End of The Little Dog with the Green Tail, An Untrue Story Recording by Katherine Russell, Ohio, USA